Hey, so I get this question a lot and I'm sure you have this question too. What, how many sets, how many reps do I do for this? Hey, what's happening? Hey, I'm Coach Brian Klopacki, functional movement specialist, strength and conditioning coach. I have a master's degree in exercise, exercise science. I say all that because I study human performance. I'm a strength coach. I've been training athletes and clients probably just like you for the past almost 17 years now. And I've studied, I've, I've been lectured to, I've, I've attended all these workshops. I have textbooks out the yin yang. Yeah, it's a pretty complicated topic, but it's very important, okay? So pay attention, get a pen and paper because I'm gonna give you numbers that you need to remember and use for your training. All right, so I get this question a lot, not just on YouTube here, but with clients, athletes, people in passing, they say, hey, hey Coach Brian, or hey Brian, I wanna get stronger. How many sets and reps should I do? All right, that's a legitimate question. Rule of thumb is to lift, or to get strong, you need to lift heavy weights. When you lift heavy weights, you can't do many reps. So what I'm talking about is anywhere between, now again, this is debatable, a lot of, uh, there's different schools of thought out there, but I personally go three to eight repetitions for strength gains. I'm not talking power, I'm talking strength. So if you wanna get strong, three to eight reps. Obviously, when you're lifting those three to eight reps, you wanna be going near max effort. So if you can do three reps or an exercise, three reps, maybe squeeze out a fourth, that's near max effort. Now let's say you're doing a weight that you're able to do three, you stop at three reps, but you're like, I probably could have done eight. Well then you should have done eight or increase the weight to get three reps. You don't wanna leave anything left in the tank, especially when you're talking strength gains. Now, or excuse me, sets, four to six sets for strength training. In between those sets is also important too, which you might not be paying attention to, two to five minutes of adequate rest. So if you're near max effort or going for it three rep max for strength gains, again, strength, you're probably gonna to need to rest five minutes doing nothing you hear that, doing nothing, you're not circuit training, you're not doing this little jog in place, you're not on your phone, you're, you're focusing on your breathing, recovery, so you can prepare the body for the next set. So, okay, for strength, three to eight reps, four to six sets, two to five minutes of rest. All right, so that's just strength. Now what about size, hypertrophy, lean muscle growth? Eight to 12 repetitions, three to four sets, uh, I think it's 60, yeah, 60 to 120 seconds of rest. So one minute to two minutes of rest. Now this is a little tricky because you can circuit train for hypertrophy, for that's muscular growth. But if you stick it to those principles, let's say you're doing three sets of 10 reps, uh, moderate weight, so you're not gonna do 15 reps, uh, but stopping at 10. You wanna make sure you're going near some max, some max rep, reps. And then you're gonna rest a minute but in, within that minute, you might say, let's say you're doing bench, you're doing, uh, I don't know, cable flies, and you wanna do some, some back rows. That's great, but you're still resting the chest for a minute. You're not gonna do a chest exercise, followed by a chest exercise, followed by a chest exercise. If you're doing that, you need to rest at least one to two minutes in between that. All right, so for hypertrophy, muscular gains, three to four sets, eight to 12 repetitions, one to two minutes of adequate rest in between there. All right, last one but not least, muscular endurance, stamina, Conditioning, anything that is gonna be a little bit more metabolic taxing on the body, 15 to 20 reps or 12 to 20 reps. I personally say 15 to 20. Uh, this is gonna be done with lighter weight, obviously, so you can rep it out. You know, Muscular endurance is great for really just, just, just increasing the workload capacity of the body, but also fine tuning those last bit of muscular definitions, um, definition, and just kind of getting the, uh, more of the burn effect. So what did I say, uh, 12 to 20, or I say 15 to 20 reps, three to four sets as well, but the rest period for this is 30 seconds. I mean, if you're absolutely struggling and you need an extra 30 seconds, one minute at the tops, but I said keep it 30 seconds. So that means you really gotta get the wheels moving, get the mouse back on the wheel, and say, all right, I gotta do this for 20 reps, three sets, but only resting 30 seconds. If I do 20 reps, and I need, and I, I, I'm completely gassed on that 20th rep, and I need three minutes of rest, you defeated the whole purpose. You need to do something that you can do 20 reps, but also allow the body to recover within 30 seconds. You see what I mean? So th this is just the general 
general template of strength, hypertrophy, and muscular endurance. Now, there are a bunch of different variables, and I know you're probably going to be like, Coach Brown, you know what you're talking about. Uh, but this is a general rule of thumb that is widely accepted in all planes of strength and conditioning, fitness, and wellness. So if you have a comment or question, uh, more specifically, please post it now underneath this video. I will get around to answering it uh, because, again, this is one of the, the, the most important training requirements that you, that you need to implement immediately because if you're looking for strength, you've got to go for strength parameters. Same thing with hypertrophy and same thing with muscular endurance. They can all overlap a little bit, but we're not talking about programming here. We're just talking about in, intra-workout, what you're actually doing, sets and reps, and the goals you're looking for. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Hey, if you liked it, first of all, you need to subscribe to our channel, but I want to give you a free gift just for watching this. It's called the Five Best Core Killer Exercises. It's a, it's a free report. It's a great read. It's right here. So click this box. Give us your email. We'll send you the free uh, ebook right now to your inbox. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Coach Brian here with Critical Bench. Have an awesome day.